up. I normally record videos on my uh, the iPhone, you know. The camera quality is pretty good. But just have some quick thoughts and I wanted to record it here on the photo booth app on my MacBook. And yeah, the the mic is also bad. As bad as the picture quality. But just to say this thing here before I forget. And that is simply... Forgive me, I'm looking around in my surroundings. There's the... Uh, the accordion up there all different stuffs here's a nice tie the wolf my main thought here was just the most interesting thing about the Mandela effect is that it stopped you know what I mean the Mandela effect was a really big deal a really big deal and the weirdest part about it is that it stopped. <laughs> when did when did you become aware of certain Mandela effects, anchor effects? You know, when it came to my attention, I'd start following certain people about it. You got well, the the big one was Chick. You got, I mean, Quantum of Conscious is always flinging it off. He's saying this triggers people, so I'll not speak on it. People like Scarab Performance, I think. He did like Mandela Mondays. And then I, I, I listened to All Time. All Time Scary. And he did a lot of video pretty well describing certain Mandela effects that were discussed on Reddit. And I don't know what my anchor effects were. There's a couple. I'm almost starting to forget what they were. Because in a big way it feels like it came and went. The season came and went. Which is incredible because this is the most peculiar thing that I've ever could have imagined. You know, I, was, I felt like the Bible change was a pretty significant one, although I never read too much of the Bible. I don't, all types of weird stuff in media and it in a way you gotta wonder like what what did it do for us and why is it stopping and is it stopping a good thing uh, chick would often speak about we're like moving dimensions oh the huge the big ones were the geography changes which are just map changes which and I've personally never been to Australia so in my you know, bubble, I don't know, a uh, oh, reality tunnel of sorts, a uh, singular subjective viewpoint, these things aren't verifiable, so, so yeah, the on the map, you know, in the globe, you would remember Australia being way far away from Indonesia and India. Now you look on a map or a globe, and Australia is way closer. It's right up in there. It looks like you could swim from India to Australia. Um, and the other one, New Zealand is closer too. You got certain geography changes that are very meaningful. Is the other one like, oh, I don't know what else, you know, Austro Africa is apparently humongous and and maybe that's just a map we like we we claim 
you know, and that's trippy too. Um, certain people might say that map makers deliberately made Africa look much smaller and increased the size of Europe and North America to make us seem more significant. When in reality, Africa is massive. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, South America, uh, I forgot the specific Mandela effect. Was it? Oh, it used to be like North America. I don't know. It's mirrored. It's backwards. So it was supposed to be like North America and then South America was way over here. But now they're directly on top of each other. You would remember in the map that they were offset from each other and that, you know, you got Mexico and then these Panama region, Central America, and then it kind of curved down. And then South America is down here. Now they're up and down, up and down. So just a few descriptions of certain Mandela effects. And... It's, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you're not understanding what I'm saying, but the, what's most curious about it is that the Mandela effects slowed down. And, you know, I personally have not heard of or seen a new Mandela effect or any, for me, any new anchor effects. In years, it feels like. All this 2020 took the focus, right? And, you know, there are reasons, reasons, reasons. We think about, you know, why the the virus thing took off like it did. And Great Awakening this. And, and for so many people, this is a subject for another video. For so many people, what what they're interpreting as an awakening is just coming to terms with the fact that the this, this satanic pedophile abuse, you know, the underground tunnels, and which is crucial. I always am one, and I don't speak on it as much as maybe I should, is the golden compass of truth placed there um, with the work and writings and um, I don't know psychological healing of Donald Marshall and when he would write about rem driven cloning and the deep underground military bases and real droning in the eye the little the parasite creature that can it's offered to certain people they allow themselves to become host of a a drone entity that is desiring to experience some semblance some semblance of a human life And it can only do it by attaching to a certain, a certain body's optic nerve, and it takes control of the vessel. And my question has always been, you know, what happens to that consciousness in the human vessel that is now a host, or been parasited, parasite host? Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted to suggest. It just I want I wonder about the 2020 um, pandemic. And if certain things were set up because, it's always the bait and switch. And with magic, if you're gonna do a magic trick, you just got to get someone to focus on. 
focus over here. Oh, I'm doing something here while I sneak around over here. So when it comes to just trickery, general trickery, you got a, uh, it's a bait, I don't know if it's a bait and switch. It's just a like, look at this. And we didn't see what you did here because you were busy. We were had your attention over here. That's classic. I mean, if you're going to think about politics and getting things, pushing things around, accomplishing something in particular, you just want to get everyone's attention on this. And my, I know in my experience and most of the world, our attention was deliberately brought to this, what we call a fake pandemic, a scamdemic. And it just felt like you know, it was like Mandela. There was Golden Compass of Truth, the Rem Journal clone, and those are partial awakenings, you know. In in in, I don't know. Because a real awakening is a soul awakening. Is a yes, this feels. Like home to me, I finally found my passion. I can finally go for my dreams of being an artist, and a vision comes to me, and I'm ready to share a brilliant, timeless, classic artwork that I've always desired to have manifested to being. You know, I got that guy over there. Uh, you can you see Walter Russell, Leo. Russell, Surya Das, no, what's his name? It's Guru Nath, Saranath Guru Nath. And these are artists, right? They're awakening with the soul of the creator. Knowing the creator as one, as witness, as within, as we are it. This kind of awakening. Now this great awakening we talk of, it's, it's conspiracy adjacent. It's like, oh yeah, we see what's going on. Ah, I see it now. I see the, the magic trick. Oh yes, now I'm empowered because... I not only see the magic trick, but I'll tell you about the magic trick and get you to now focus on certain aspects of the magic trick, and now you're partially awakened. A great awakening would be, wow, know thyself, I am it, we are it, and it is me, and we do everything, and we have empowered our capacity to its highest degree a great awakening remind me more of like a renaissance of invention innovation and so this shit is on its way right supposedly we're on our way to find free energy and i'm waiting for it but i mean it's like it's like the it's like certain forces have come out they're like and, and I guess I started this topic off with Mandela Effect, which was very interesting. Like, oh, oh, and what did the Mandela Effect do for me? Which was the question I failed to answer a few minutes ago. We start to realize our creator capacity. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I guess perhaps some of us were like, wow, okay, things aren't so solid. Things aren't so fluid, you know. Maybe we can move ourselves through space. Or maybe we're being manipulated. Or maybe it's like, oh yeah, we're in a zoo. And and certain people around the zoo just make minor edits. Edit to the simulation. All this type of thing was going on. And are these, you know, are these psyops? Is it like, what is it called? A gaslight. Was Mandela Effect like a, a major gaslight? To, to, to alter certain things that we actually don't have the power to change. 
and and make it feel like, oh wow, you know, maybe we we moved, maybe we moved something, and are these signs that certain things are changing, and that, and I, I the phrase that comes to mind in uh, the Glamis Calling website was. It says, remember, you made the change. The change did not make you. That's what they wrote to us. And this is the World Governor Council, the House of Wettin. So I keep that in mind. It's like, you made the change. So I've heard from several sources, it's like, we should be celebrating. This should, in, in times... You feel it in glimpses, You're like, oh wow, yeah, yeah, I, I can sense some kind of celebration. I can sense some sort of victory, and uh, indeed, that's one of my affirmations. I said, I am in light victory. I am victorious in the light. Now, then you snap back in the physical plane, and... Um, Damn, where is everybody? And so constantly scouring the internet, trying to find more clues, more information. Um, but the the whole 2020, so many things happened. And it was told that was the year of Atlantis. Now we're here in 2022, alright? Okay, more things are coming more things, more things, and certain things don't get reported on. And never in my life I felt more interested in journalism and history. Never have I gave up so much a shit as now. And so it feels like this like vaccine, you know, blah, 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 Key words are like in my sight. They're blocking out certain regions. So that's my question is like, what is a great awakening? If there are these key words that it like blocks the flow. And so sure, what did the Mandela effect? And I'm speaking of it like it's past tense. Which was the premise of this video, which is just why I wanted to quickly press record and and jot down this note. It's that, like, man, I was almost interested in what the Mandela effect was, because you're like, oh, okay, so if a if the Kit Kat dash can disappear like that, and uh, I don't know, the Ford logo gets a swoop de swoop. Who's the guy I remember? His name was Blaze from No Input. Actually, he makes me want to go look up no or need input. That was his name. I want to look up again need input. And this man was living in Japan. He would talk about the masks. He was he was always trying to push out his version of what was real. And uh, I was always interested in the way this man presented certain things. And he. He was fascinated by Mandela Effect. So, you know, he's one guy I would want to figure, to just uh, kind of elaborate on this. It seems like I have not really experienced a Mandela Effect in two or three years. And, and it was, it, it was amazing. It was interesting. The other channel I want to know is this guy, um, Enter the Stars. Oh, my computer's frozen. I better stop the video. Enter the Stars, he would also speak on certain things like this. And I uh, just want to end the video now so that my computer can stop freezing. And that's the question, you know. Why have the Mandela Effect stopped? What did that mean for us? Did we really change places in the galaxy? And is it now finished? Is it over? Because that was seriously jarring.
makes you start to wonder like okay if these types of small changes can be made what big changes were made and that's when you get in things like oh the the body the body starts to change the heart is moved to the middle certain people have had very um i don't know the right psychological terminology but you could say jarring jarring experiences where and this could go into those body ascension, ascension upgrades, DNA activation, that type of craziness. I'm reminded, you know, in the Mandela effect, the, the heart goes to the center. And could you think organs are gone, organs are moved, things squishing, right? We need, you could look up Marlene Sweatless off and she suggests with the help of Hilarion that we need less and less food. You actually like eat eat one third of what you normally eat and and it's been promised to us we'll suddenly have boundless energy to be able to go achieve all our tasks. Well, you know, I'm in body aches and pains. I can't quite figure out what to eat and uh I just wanna sleep. But, yeah, I wake up in the day and I'm doing different shit. It's just like, uh, so when we talk of Mandela Effect, it's like, okay, so when do we get some verification? Can we get context for what happened, why, when, where, how? And will that type of um, fluidity of phenomena in existence, life can be synchronous. Uh, when you know good things start to occur that line up with the direction you're hoping to take yourself in uh, maybe you have to make changes adapt be flexible to certain circumstances and then uh, you know barrel forth when you need to to go somewhere and then you know hold back and hold frame and hold station when you need to do that So those are the, some of the things we wonder. It, are there more Mandela effects on the horizon? Have they been happening constantly for the past two and a half years that we haven't been able to notice? Because, you know, I'm in Kenosha. We had that Kyle Rittenhouse. We had that Jacob Blake. We had, you know, my church started on fire and the car lot. And, and we had the different you know, shady characters, I found myself getting invested and involved in some of these protests. I found myself yelling at police at a front line. I watched them in military, you know, in different formations, 50, 100 police officers just walking in a line like ants. And that t same type of oddness has happened in so many parts of the planet. And it just, it baffles the mind because you're like, oh, yesterday I, I was looking up, you know, the geography of the globe and how different things were changing. And, you know, Scarecrow has a gun. It's like, oh, I didn't know that before. Just this frivolous little trivialities. And then things start to get serious. And then talk about like ah oh, I gotta leave my job the endless stream of what you know almost seems like boring at this point and it's just that magic trick I was telling you it's like okay and, and we had the Epstein I'm looking now deeply into the work of Tracy Twyman who I just was brought attention to by watching my friend Freeman fly It's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole for sure. And it just makes me wonder this like vaccine. There's not been a day gone by when I've not heard certain key words related to this pandama. Parama. 
Frappa! Zindaba! So it is, you know. Affirmation, 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 affirmation. But yet, then I wake up in life and these these blocks, which I see as like, the, it's lang language is, as we know, language is spells. And when you just hear the same word a couple times a day and people want to make videos about it and speak on on these like current events they just they just bug you at a certain point because there was serious shit happening there was real events real changes going on and then then there's like broken events start to take priority and it bothers me so that was the main theme Today I just wanted to, to set out is I want even to put years on it. It felt like you know I I was put things into perspective when I moved into this room into this house. It felt like Mandela effect started coming through twenty late twenty sixteen twenty seventeen pretty heavy. Then well we had that Trump thing that was kind of a Mandela effect, right? The election. It's such a wild time period. And then we had that meme magic with 4chan and the Keck. That Pepe the Frog. Oh, yes. Yes. Very magical. And like, we want. I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I. In, in, a, in a different area of who I am I just like started cutting certain stuff off and I know I do that consciously I know I do that as well it's like okay I'm not going to be able to move forward and function with these certain mysteries uh simul playing so in a way I'm sure I cut some of them so it's like okay don't focus there you know, these are my guides helping. If you could say that, like, don't don't focus there. Um, this is interfering with your daily life. Um, this is you know wasted bandwidth maybe. But some I th I feel like that shit kind of relates. So it's like I just want to find. I'm ready to just figure out where I am. I always I I say context is my first, middle, and last name. I want to find in relation to what that was and where it's going and where we are. So you could say this bullshit about the now moment, the now moment. And like I said, I've been deeply now interested in suddenly in history and law and money mechanics relating to Gemstone University. Of course... The work of Ken Cousins, you got Crow Triple Seven, um, the Secret Society craziness, and it's just like, but wait, wait on a minute, wait on a minute. Mandela Effect was usurping all of it. Mandela Effect was primary focus. You're like, okay, nothing like this has ever occurred in my entire life you know this is special and unique to this time period this incarnation on earth it felt rare it felt like you know okay real life is is fluid like a dream life like a dream experience would be so i've commented on that and i was like life is a dream this is it Life is but a dream, merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. But that fucks you up because you want to know what's real. You want to know how much is tactile, how much is significant, what types of actions do you are going to have weight. Um, even this is guy, the open scroll. The open scroll is discussing that at a certain time, and this is his biblical study, 
at a certain point we'll get to and I don't know how that would happen you know you just wake up one day and you're back the open scroll suggests that at a certain point in time we'll be transported back to 2012 now this kind of fucks me up because we've also heard about you know from the Fomenko work about time constantly in the John Levi as well constantly being reset that once once we hit a certain point in time it goes back to the medieval you know it's like you keep having to replay certain and I don't I don't like it upsets me deeply because it's it's not a part of my programming. Part of my education program is like okay things pr move and see you see retro causality so then what happens now happens always it's like it is that doesn't really hold up. Um, time is an illusion. Right, you know what happens when you die. All right, you 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 want to be the eternal now, now, okay, okay. So it goes back, okay. But yeah, the open scroll discusses. He's like, if we're going, we had to play these certain events out, then we'll be dropped back to 2012, and we'll find the biblical timeline where I suppose you find morality and in turn happiness, peace, and order. And we're intending to create the new earth. Now this conversation with heaven and earth has been really disturbing my life. Um, talking about a laser event that's going to kill everybody. And we're going to find exit points. Then we'll be brought up into ships and they will heal heal our energy field and we've taken such a beating down here that you know we're ready for our new life a new earth but apparently new earth is going to have no challenges so it'll almost be boring for certain people and in your five dimensional crystal line body you'll be able to just um and i don't mean to say this facetiously if this type of thing is going to occur, you know, I'm, I hope I'll enjoy it. I hope I'll enjoy my 5D shape-shifting body that can be whatever it wants. It can be this or that and move around and we can play jokes on each other and laugh and have a great time. You know, I just... It feels like... This world, you know, this 3D planet, whatever, whatever you want to describe this amazing place. You know, the Earth is not just 3D. 3D is like what you can touch and feel and smell. This is, we have amazing psychic capabilities that share with you. This Earth is way more than just certain densities. I don't think of them as densities, you know? If, if you feel a loving vibration and a, an amazing sensation of feeling through you, and a, maybe a vision, or maybe an artistic sense, is I'm ready to make, I, I, I experience this, maybe a story, maybe you have a plot line, and you want to write your plot line down, and c conspire different pieces together to convey your art your artistic sensibility you know i'm playing um grand theft auto 5 right now i'm just in lester's house and i'm this is interesting shit and you're gonna tell me this is a 3d experience um there's so much more it's not just like you can't quantify it as such and it makes me think you know this planet what our life here you know, we like to drink. We like to do drugs. We like to party. I've had fun here. And 
And when you really become a master, the displeasurable things, the traumas, the troubles, the trials, the challenges, you know, with faith in God and your creative capacities and you want to work with the Christ and you want to bestow Christhood on your on yourself as we are and will all do we can come together we're tribal people we're social I'm a social person I just spent 35 minutes talking to a perceived audience in a video I may never release it's just part of what we are so it's like man we deserve to have fun we deserve to 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 really celebrate you know i'm hearing channelers saying yeah this is the time for celebration on the universe you've won your freedom yes you can now party i have a song where i sing about open gym and in my school experience open gym was always really fun we would often play dodgeball or maybe you just like play basketball you know it's a day you get to the gym class and the teachers don't really want to do any type of lessons or training no units um unit being like basketball or football we're not gonna teach you shit open gym will be just be like put a few things out and just go at it you know maybe kids over there want to play dodgeball and i love dodgeball so that was one of my songs i was like and i was saying we can get dumb now. We can get dumb. We should be able to get as dumb as we want to. And dumb just meaning like, let's let's enjoy this experience. Not sitting cross-legged. And I've done some of this. I've sat cross-legged. And it's just like, man, I'm so isolated. I'm so just, you know, just, just running a race. Just like okay, okay. Everyone I surround myself with, it's it feel this is disconnect. So yeah, you know, I'm gonna gonna meet with tribe. Okay, gonna meet with tribe and and maybe conversations with heaven and earth is right. I will have to get exited. We'll have to the body will have to shut down here completely. And at that point, my spirit stuff will make its way to the New Jerusalem ship and find Yeshua. And, you know, is it going to be fun there? I don't know. Could be awkward for a little while. I don't know. Is it? Do, do the, the friendly beings have senses of humor? You hope. Earth used to be funny. I, I used to enjoy um, playing. As a kid, I loved to play. So that's what we're getting back to. I hope we can continue to play. But, man, this is dark play. This is really dark play when you talk about, ugh, satanic ritual abuse. And certain symbols. and Oh, you gotta just know everything. You gotta just learn everything, know everything. You gotta gotta create a better world, we gotta feed certain people, we gotta, uh, I just get bored of it, you know, why? Why is Earth such a suffering place, man? And so, you know, that's part of my work, I'm here to not suffer. I'm here to, like, not suffer, <laughs> I'm here to not suffer. And if I'm gonna have to not suffer alone for a little while longer, okay. Um, but, yeah, especially going back to need input, which I'll certainly look up again to just, just, just figure out, you know, have there been more Mandela effects while I've been taking some kind of, um, uh, COVID nap? If I've been COVID napping and missed, you know, a couple seasons of Mandela effects, I don't know. Do I need to go on Reddit Mandela Effect and see what people are discovering? Because 
you know, it's just that. It's like as soon as I started noticing that people were experiencing big Mandela effects, we got a Bible change. We got geographic changes. And then we had body changes. Then, you know, I, I don't know how much validity to this is. You start to talk about the chakra system. Now we apparently have 13 chakras instead of what was seven. Maybe nine. It's like they're adding things. So we're, con we're being added to. And it, you got to just wonder, like, okay, who's adding certain things to my experience on this planet? And does it have to do with Gaia's desire? You know, thinking of Gaia as a being? And it ha it desire it knows our experience. Gaia, of course, knows our suffering. We're told uh, our experiencing the most suffering helps Gaia release her trouble. Because our carbon bodies are the planet itself. Our personal experiences being aspects of this planet itself and so is so we call Terra, Gaia, um, we got the Agarthans living inside the planet. So many uh, angles on this and just looking for the truth you know just looking for the truth and I am not yet willing to just believe that I'm gonna create my truth and kind of, it's like a placebo that's a cope just to and certain certain knowledge and experiences have helped me inform what I'm willing to be open to and you know you don't want to be I don't know what to say I just, I'm not entirely sure that we create our own reality. Mandela effect itself has shown, like, you know, like things can be tampered with. Things can... So, that's the primary point, is, you know, has, is the Mandela effect over? That's the question. Did the Mandela effect finish? <laughs> Is the Mandela Effect season completed? What would you say? 2015? You can take it back to 2014. I wasn't really paying attention. But it came into my sphere about, I'd say 2016, along with like Jordan Peterson. They all kind of cropped up together. Um, and uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. So you just want to kind of put it into frame and see, like, okay, Mandela Effect, you know, 2016 to 2019. It was just a span of, like, four or five years, and ever since the virus that shall not be named feels like Mandela Effect's have ended now we could talk about it it's like are we stable in the new place really I want to wink you know wink, wink. <laughs> that's the question you know Mandela effect is it ended and was there a, a grand finale Was there a Mandela Effect grand finale, or did it just peter out? And we start to get worn about it. We start to get like, oh, okay, constantly looking for novelty. You're like, okay, since it's not new anymore, let's just, what's next? What's around the corner? And it felt like this was, there could be no corners. You start to learn about the quantum nature. Quantum nature, that's what Mandela was about. And it's it's per it's it's profound. But that's what it felt like. It felt like, you know, I haven't seen any in a while, so is it done? <laughs>